cloned myself again? Seriously, what is my obsession with cloning myself? If you've followed me for a little while, you may know that uh, I've been working really hard on essentially creating an AI agent that can output content that sounds just like me. In essence, I'm trying to clone myself. I've done this in a couple of different ways. Uh, one way that was pretty effective was using data chunks pulled from voice flow, but I really didn't like the idea of using an off the shelf rag database because I couldn't control the chunk size and uh, just things of that nature. So I wanted to be able to create my own. Then I tried to do this in Relevance AI, and while Relevance is a really powerful tool, I wasn't happy with the output. It kept coming back sounding robotic, it sounded like ChatGPT wrote everything. So I found a solution. I first created my own vector database using Qdront and Natan, or N-A-10, however you say it. And then I created my own agent, and this time leaned on Sonnet 3.5 as the language model for the output, and it does a phenomenal job at really replicating my voice, my tone, uh, based on examples from other social media posts. So let's get into how I did that. So upserting documents into my own vector store was actually pretty easy with Nathan. Uh, so I just uploaded all of the documents that I wanted inside of uh, my Google Drive, connected that to Nathan, and then uh, connected a Qdrant vector store account, uh, which is free. Um, I created a cluster and that's where all of this stuff will be stored um, using um, the new text three small model for embeddings uh, through OpenAI and then the default data loader and uh, recursive text. Um, actually, I can show you these 4,000 chunk size, so pretty big chunk size with 400 overlap. Um, and then that's just the default uh, data loader where I used, uh, yeah, this is where you tell it what kind of uh, data it's taking in. So take that and put it from JSON to binary and then either PDF or TXT or CSV. I had a bunch of different ones. Every time I ran it, I would have to change that uh, depending on the file type. But yeah, and then just test workflow after each document, test workflow, test workflow. And here I have saved 74 megabytes of my four gigabytes of free storage in this cluster. And I have them separated by collections, um, which each represent the type of data that's in there. So yeah, Nathan made it pretty simple. All right, and now using that Qdrant uh, vector database, I have set up this cool little flow here. Um, this one, it, it just decides on what database to pull expert knowledge from. Um, so essentially, I asked GPT, you know, based on this query, which database um, should expert knowledge be pulled from? And that variable is right here. So um, this uh, essentially assigns which of those collections in Qdrant uh, need to be queried. And then uh, I have more question and answer chains. So this is for the expert knowledge. This is for um, uh, conscience or morality philosophy basically just explains and here I use um, Sonnet 3.5 from Anthropic basically just explains hey um, when you pull data from this vector store determine what this person's philosophical position or personal feelings on the topic would be and then lastly um, is connected to my social media responses and it says hey based on all this context from the previous uh, vector store um, queries decide um, how you the, this person, myself, Anthony Lee, in this uh, in this example, would word this and create a social media post. And I really like the uh, the output so far. Here was the last one that I did, um, and it sounded just like me. I mean, look, I'm not talking about replacing people. I want to be very clear about this. AI cannot do what humans can. Period. Like I've definitely said that before. But let's go ahead and uh, give this a test really quick. Tell me about rag databases. All right. Here we go. Rag databases, the secret sauce to supercharge your AI. Ever wonder how to make your AI responses more accurate and up to date? And look, it even used, it used emojis, the same emojis that I use often, stores massive amounts of text data constantly. Okay. Imagine your AI having access to a constantly evolving library of expert knowledge. Who's ex like this? That's that's really good. Anyway, so yeah, Natan plus Qdrant um, vector stores plus uh, I believe Langchain is who powers these um, interfaces with the AI. Sweet. All right. Hope that helps.